Hi everyone, my name is Kathy Willander and currently I'm the head of the uh, Delta Richmond chapter out here in BC. And as a lot of you may know that we are, are now a direct action chapter and have successfully completed actions out here. Uh, how we got to be a direct action chapter is a little bit of a story and um, a few years ago we were doing, uh, showing films in the library and having speakers and um, just decided that we needed to do something different and uh, we had decided also that we would become a chapter that fo focused on climate justice. And so with these two things in mind, um, we set out to see what we could do to um, give ourselves a different profile in this community. And so I went to a direct action workshop and was quite inspired by that and was seeking ways to how to do that here. Um, we, um, we went to different groups, we went to different meetings, but the big breakthrough came was first off we partnered up with a group called Gateway Sucks and did some stuff around the Olympics and it turned out so well we decided to um, maybe look at doing more. So uh, we formed what we called a climate justice circle and, um, and have been doing actions. Our first action was on October 10th whereby we built a symbolic dike from the um, preload for the freeway project out here and uh, this was pretty successful. We then um, got some more sand, went down to downtown Vancouver in December and sandbag closed the um, offices of the provincial cabinet. So that was good. So then we decided um, there was even more to do. So the, um, the freeway issue is uh, quite a big issue in our community. We consider it a climate crime and we actually want to stop the construction of this freeway. So we decided we needed to do an occupation. So Mother Earth Day, this April 22nd, we um, had a, a march and then we occupied a site where the freeway was to go and we held it for two weeks. We had people from all over the Lower Mainland, all sorts of different groups. We generated a lot of media. We were the top story several nights. Um, we held the camp for two weeks and at the end of two weeks the, we were threatened with a possible injunction. So we decided that we didn't want to tie up our time and resources in a court case and so we left, um, but we considered it a victory in that we really got our message out there about how this freeway construction is a climate crime and why are we doing this. Uh, we have more actions coming up. Um, we're in the process of planning some right now. So it's not over with yet. And um, as someone who is now not only a climate justice activist, but doing direct action, I just got to say about how great it feels to actually go out there and do things and really, you know, stand up for the environment, stand up for the land and stand up for the community. It's really an empowering thing to do. And um, at this point in time, I think we all have to look at what are we going to do to stop this craziness, to stop this corporate agenda. That's kind of the focus that we look at how we plan our actions from now on. That we're living in a time in history that doesn't make a lot of sense. And so we've got to try and do things to bring attention, wake people up and stop the craziness.